What is up, everybody? I'm back with another DIY video. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I need to stop taking these hiatuses, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you remember those, that pack of five canvas that I got from my mom's office that I never used? Well, I'm going to use them today. Well, in this video. And um, I'm using three of them. I'm going to be making some really easy pieces of wall art that literally anybody can do. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. All right, all right. So for the first project, we're going to be stenciling the phrase Fect Perfection onto a canvas. Now, first we got to tape down these letters. And I went the cheaper route, so I went to the dollar store and I tried to get me some double-sided tape. Like, okay, this going to work. It didn't work. So I put the tape on by itself at first and it wouldn't stick so i thought "Ooh, let's try some painter's tape put the painter's tape on the second side of the double-sided tape and then it stuck flush to the canvas which was great because of how we're going to stencil it but you can always try you know just rolling up the painter's tape and sticking it on that way but it won't be flush so it's perfectly your choice this is how i chose to do it So once you get all your letters taped down, you're going to take it outside and spray paint it whatever color you want. Because I'm going for like a black and white theme in my bedroom right now, I chose the color black because, I mean, the canvas is white. So, yeah. And I also wanted to give it like a cloudy, smoky type feel to it. So I didn't want to paint the entire canvas like completely black. I didn't want it to be so deep. I wanted some of it to look like it was fading or a little see-through. So... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the green tape is there. It's looking good. Yes. So for this project, just get your crayon colors of choice, get put it in a glass container, stick it in the microwave for a minute or two, melt it down, and then just have fun. I used a popsicle stick to just kind of drip mine on and sling it on a little bit, but you can pour it, sling it, fling it, drip it, or drop it. It does not matter. There's no wrong way to do this project. Just You're just having fun. And I also think this would be a great project for, you know, parent and child bonding if that is even a thing and basically of course the parent would be in charge of melting it down and taking it out of the microwave but just sit it on like an oven mitt or something and just have fun with it and don't worry about your kids getting it on the floor or anything just let it dry and it pops right up trust me I know because I got this all over the floor So this last project was just another stencil and I was just using regular acrylic paint instead of spray paint. And I basically had to create the stencil because you're not going to find this in the store. I'm just saying. This is just regular punch out letters from Walmart. I was being cheap. So I went that route. And, you know, once you get the spacing right and get it all basically taped down to the canvas, you're good to go with your project. And secondly, it's not going to say get high done. I'm pretty sure y'all know that. That middle word is going to be sugar, honey, iced tea. Figure it out if you don't know what that means. <laughs> but overall, it came out really well. I did have to learn the hard way not to use too much paint because I did have some bleeds on the word get. And I just had to go back in and fix it. But other than that, the project came out really great. I love the black and then the green at the bottom. So, yeah. These pieces came out so good, you guys. I mean, and look at the one with the crayon. It looks so good. Oh, my God. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below which one was your favorite. 
and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys later.